What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a jailbreak detection bypass hack. I'm going to show you the top five tweaks out right now for iOS 13 that allow jailbreak detection bypass. Let's jump right into it. Alright, so the first jailbreak detection bypass tweak we're going to look at is called Choicy. It has a bunch of different options in here. You can disable daemons, applications, you can launch without tweaks options. So what that allows you to do is 3D touch or haptic touch on the icon and it'll give you the option to launch without tweaks or launch with tweaks. So in the menus you can go ahead and hit applications and go ahead and select what application you want. So for example, if I wanted the Capriotis one. I could disable tweak injection or you can do custom tweak configuration which will just allow you to turn off certain tweaks that that application cannot see. What I do, what works best for me is just disable tweak injection altogether. I seem to have the best success rate when I do that. I haven't messed around with the daemons too much because I'm not exactly sure what to disable, what I should and shouldn't disable. So I haven't been able to mess around with this too much. However, if you guys know what you're doing, you guys can go ahead and disable these to see if you have a better success rate depending on what application you're trying to bypass. This tweak has worked for me on smaller applications such as the Capriotis app or the McDonald's app or something smaller like that. For the banking apps, I haven't really been able to get it to work with my specific banking app, but I know it does work on some banking apps. So that's going to be the first option for you guys is Choicy. I'm going to leave the repo down in the description and you guys could test it out and see what works for your device. Alright, so the next tweak is going to be Jail Protect. This is just a very simple, lightweight jailbreak detection bypass. All you got to do is go ahead and select what apps you want to disable. For example, if you want to disable that app, go ahead and push respring. It'll respring the device. Once the device has resprung, you can go ahead and try opening that application to see if it has worked. But anyways, Gel Protect, very simple, very easy to use, not too many options. It either works or it doesn't work. I found that this Tweak is also successful on some banking apps and some lightweight jailbreak detection apps such as the McDonald's app. It also gives you an option to spoof your iOS version. You can spoof whatever iOS version you want. You can go back to 12 or 11 or whatever iOS version you want your applications to think that you're on. Another jailbreak detection bypass app is Liberty Light. Pretty much everyone knows about Liberty. It's kind of notorious for being a jailbreak detection bypass. Very similar to Jail Protect. You just go ahead and enable whatever application you want to enable it on. Unfortunately, Mario Kart is one of those stubborn applications like Pokemon Go that does not seem to recognize that there is a jailbreak detection bypass tweak enabled. However, I do have a fix for that, and I will be showing you guys that in this video. But anyways, that's Liberty. Very easy, very self-explanatory. Might work on one of your banking apps or one of your applications. Go ahead and let us know down in the comments. The next tweak is going to be TS Protector. This one's a little bit of an older one. It says it supports iOS 8 and up. And some people on Reddit have been reporting that this works on certain applications. On my applications, I was not able to get it to work. However, that doesn't mean that it won't work on your applications. This is just another option if one of your applications, such as a banking app or something that has a jailbreak detection system, is not working. Very simple. You just go ahead and find what application you want to block. For example, I have my health app blocked because for some reason it has a jailbreak detection system on it. 
However, it did not work with the TS protector. I had to use another tweak in order to disable the jailbreak detection system on that application. Now the last one I have for you is probably the best one and it works on most of the applications. You just have to play with a little bit of the settings to figure out which application will take for what. And what I mean by that is, for example, you may want to toggle on bypass detection libraries and you may want to toggle on generate a file map. I toggled on all of these settings, filter dynamic linker. This is the only jailbreak detection bypass that was working for my health app. All of the other ones were unsuccessful. However, when I enabled this one, I went through here and I just played a little bit with the settings and enabled everything for it. Any option that I could enable for this health app, I enabled for it. Just go ahead and read these little paragraphs when you download this app. It'll kind of explain what each little toggle does. Go ahead and push restart springboard. And it'll apply all of the toggles. Now another thing that I noticed for a higher success rate is go ahead and download the application, but do not open it. And then go ahead and download the tweak open up the tweak, adjust all your settings, enable it for whatever application you're gonna enable it on, and then respring the device. After you've resprung the device, go ahead and try to open up the application. And if the application opens up and works, then you have successfully done it. If it doesn't open up and work, then go ahead back into shadow and disable some settings or just play around with a couple of these different filters and eventually the right combination will probably work. You just have to figure out what that combination is. For me, I needed to enable every single thing in order to get my health app to work. But I have found that Shadow is probably the most successful jailbreak detection bypass tweak that I've been able to find. And it works with nearly all of my applications. So I don't even need these other jailbreak detection bypass tweaks. However, there are so many applications that have a jailbreak detection system that one of these other tweaks may be better for your device. One key thing to note is you probably don't want to have multiple jailbreak detection bypass tweaks installed at the same time because they will conflict with one another. For example, I have all of these tweaks installed right now and my health app is now broken again. But once I uninstall all the rest of these and leave shadow on the health app will begin working again now i'm also going to show you guys how to get mario kart working i know lately nintendo has pushed out some updates that has kind of disabled jailbreak detection bypassing and unfortunately snapback has not been updated to ios 13 so there is a workaround and i'm going to show you guys how to do that right now first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and download Filesa from Cydia. Once you have that installed, you're going to want to head over to iosgods.com. I will leave this link down in the description. You're going to want to create an account. It's completely free. There is no charges or anything. Just create an account. Once you create an account, you'll be able to access these hidden links that they have. So for example, it says hidden content right there. And what it was is the download link for this tweak. Whenever you first go to this link, it's gonna be a black box and you will not be able to access the download hack button. What you need to do is go down here and interact with the post. So all I did was click on this and hit upvote. Once I hit upvote, it turned green and I was able to push the little download hack button. So click download, it's gonna to go to your download manager right here. All you wanna do once you download it is go ahead and hit it. Push the little share button. You're gonna to wanna to share it with Filesa. So save to Filesa. It's gonna bring you to this screen right here, push save. Once you have saved it, you can go open Filesa. We're gonna to navigate to the folder. So if you start at the backslash, you're gonna go to var, mobile, documents, and that's where we'll be downloaded to. 
you're gonna open it. You're gonna tap this install button right here. It's gonna run the code. Push respring. Once the device has resprung, you can go ahead and open up Mario Kart. It's going to give you this little splash screen. Just push thank you. Now it's going to want you to sign into your iosgods.com account, so push continue. It automatically logged me in. Go ahead and push the X. Let the game load up. This little iOS gods guy is gonna be right here. There are hacks and tweaks, such as unlimited tickets, coin hacks, a bunch of different stuff. So be very careful. You don't wanna get permanently banned for hacking. This will allow you to play Mario Kart without the app crashing. You can go ahead and I'll show it right here. Select your card in place, okay. It'll load up the race. Now normally at this point, the application would crash. No matter what jailbreak detection bypass tweak you have installed, it would still crash. But with the iOS gods tweak installed, you can go ahead and play it. Now like I said before, I wouldn't abuse the unlimited coins or the unlimited tickets or anything like that because you can still get banned for doing that. All I'm using this for is a jailbreak detection bypass so that I can actually play Mario Kart. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. I will answer all of the comments. If you guys like the video, don't forget to smack that like button. And if you love the video, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh.